extra noise because it's Christmas. Welcome to the stage, John Kaliri. New Year's Eve, what a pain in the hoop. New Year's Eve, everything goes mad in Ireland. First of December, it's like a whistle blowing. People are like, you ready? Are you all ready? Christmas, are you all ready? All right, Jerry, get up. Oh, you know, oh, right, right. First of December, oh, Christmas over there, go for it. And everyone goes mad, puts hats on. <laughs> oh, I lost the house, lost the wife, lost the car. Oh, it's all gone. <laughs> get to the first of January, it's just fucking dead. And then New Year's Eve, stupid celebration. Imagine that queuing up for six hours to celebrate tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sake. When you're doing lines of fucking Complan and drinking Dettol and Red Bull, the last thing you want to think about is the next fucking day. But yet you queue up for the whole day to go in and celebrate the next day, and then the next day comes and it's shite. <laughs> It was just wandering around like 28 days later, which is basically the time it takes to get paid again. <laughs> Everyone's hungry for a month. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> have you got anything in your house? <laughs> oh, we have nothing left. I can't eat cake for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I've got anything. I've got a rash or anything. No, we have nothing. We'll have to go to social services. We have nothing. We won't, neither of us got paid. I spent my money in November before I even got it. <laughs> Weeks and weeks waiting, and then it comes to Monday, the 23rd of January, and the media goes, uh, by the way, today, <laughs> here we are in Dublin, on radio and on TV. <laughs> and today, apparently, according to scientists, <laughs> is the most depressing day of the year. <laughs> oh! What the fuck are you telling me that for? <laughs> And then they get paid. Get fucking paid. And they're going, right, we're getting locked. <laughs> Wake up, comatose, 10 hours. <laughs> on a couch, all clothed. Didn't even pee yourself, just lying there. <laughs> we're going, oh. And then you have enough money to buy it. Oh, change. You know that drinking money, it's rolled up in a ball and there's change everywhere. Oh, oh. And then you take it out and you go, I've only got change. And all of a sudden you've got 50 quid in change. <laughs> You can buy food. I'm gonna buy food with that. I can buy food. I can buy food with it. You eat the food, and then you're okay. And then you kind of have a few drinks on Saturday, and then it's Sunday. You get ready. You go back to work, and the first thing that happens on Monday morning, you have a coffee at break time, and the first thing you say to your work colleagues and friends is, um, "When is Paddy's day?" <laughs> is that in a few weeks? Is it? Oh, it's only a few. Oh, brilliant. Start planning for that now. <laughs> It's fucking great, and then it goes into Paddy's Day, and we get ready for that because we love holidays. Into Paddy's Day, and then Easter comes after, and then we start thinking, "Oh fuck Easter, we could jam those two together, <laughs> Paddy's Day and Easter, and make a kind of a bumper holiday out of it." <laughs> Even though we've only one day off on each week, we can just jam it together somehow and kick other days into it. <laughs> Here, is that day doing it? Is that Tuesday? Is that Tuesday? Is anyone using that Tuesday? <laughs> I'm fucking into that week there because. I need a couple of days off. <laughs> we just love to conform holidays because the English are very good at going, well, you know, it's just a bank holiday, it's just one day, it's just one day, you know, it's just one day. That's all, you know. You go to bed a bit later on a Sunday, you get up on a Monday, walk the dog, have a bit of fun, talk about Brexit, have a pizza. <laughs> have a pizza. <laughs> and watch a film, nice film, go to bed a bit later. And then get up for work on Tuesday. <laughs> Irish people are going, no, 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 you've got holidays all wrong. Yeah, but it's only a holiday one day. No, 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 no. That's the difference between you saying, would you like to go out for a drink? And Irish people saying, I'm going drinking. That's the difference. So then, on you go and we start gathering up holidays. And it's like developers, like day developers coming to May. Look at that first Monday in May, because we didn't have a bank holiday there years ago when I was a kid. But our first Monday in May, why don't we build a bank holiday around that one there? <laughs> we could start at the previous Thursday, maybe, and have it over there on Monday. Take the Tuesday off. So. <laughs> the long weekend. <laughs> and, then, and then the English are going, we've got one at the end of May. We've always had one at the end of May, 27th of May, that's our one at the end of May. And then the Irish go, oh, yeah, sounds sound. What about the 
the first week in June there. <laughs> Very nice big long one there. Oh, lovely. And then he goes, oh God, what are you doing? And then over to August. Yeah, it's the first week of August, isn't it? <laughs> That's another site there, isn't it? We could build it. Get the tractors and bulldozers and knock down a few days, put them all together and make a holiday out of that one too. <laughs> and it comes to the end of August and the English guy, we're having our one now. And this is our last one before Christmas. We don't really need our bank holiday. So, Christmas, so you can do what you want to do. And the Irish go, oh, we will, so. <laughs> so it's going to be weeks now till uh, Christmas. What about uh, October? That's a good time. October. That's a good time. I like October. October's good. <laughs> and we fucking make the bumper best bank holiday week of all time. We involve other days in it. We involve days from the previous week. Call them things like a Tuesday before a bank holiday. <laughs> you know, that's just Tuesday. Oh, no, 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 it's got the word holiday in it. Which means when you're at work, you start doing this. Jesus, bank holiday coming up. Oh. Is that heater on? Oh. Start doing fuck all. Will you file that report for me, Derek? Huh? On the Wednesday before a bank holiday. <laughs> sure, no, there'll be nobody, there'll be nobody reading it. Still goes on to the following week, the Thursday after a bank holiday, you still, nobody gives a fuck. And I'll leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it till after Christmas. And that goes on and on and then, and then in the middle of the weekend, we fucking change time, put it back, making the bank holiday last longer. Put time back, push it back. Bunch of lads. Have, Sleeves rolled up in wellies, pushing the time back. Ah, get fucking back! There'll be no Sunday here! <laughs> changing time, changing it. So confusing. So confusing as well because everyone, I've been 51 years old and I've been doing this all my fucking life, but I still go, when is the clocks going? Everyone's checking. When are the clocks going back? Is it this? Is it tomorrow? Is it next week? Is it tonight? It's tonight. It's, no, it's tomorrow morning. No, but that is tonight for us. So is it, can I put mine back now because I'm going out later? I want to save time now. No, it has to be two o'clock in the morning. Oh fuck, what are we, we're going to be out. And then people that are out at two o'clock in the morning when time changes are going, are we actually here? Or are we somewhere else waiting to come here? What the fuck? Is that bar open? The next day it's, is that time right? Is that clock right? What the fuck, I'm confused. Don't recognize anybody. Who are you? I don't, I don't know anybody. It, takes, it took me three days to get over the clocks going back. Fellas in pubs a week later going, this time last week it was half eleven. <laughs> the fuck are we on about? <laughs> but Brexit is going to change all that. Because the European Union, or Germany, as we call them, they're going to bring in a new thing called no more daylight saving, get up out of bed in time, you lazy fuckers. <laughs> and it's gone. It literally is gone. 2021, I don't mean 20 past eight. It's gone. <laughs> no more daylight saving. Gone! Finished! Allah! Anybody found saving daylight will be shot. <laughs> At daybreak, regardless of whether the sun is up or not. <laughs> and then the Brits are going to leave Europe. And they're going to go, well, we, we've been saving daylight for thousands of years. You know, why should we <laughs> have to do what Germany says? A friend of mine, Derek, he's been saving light in a shed out the back of his house for years. He's got a warehouse full of light, and if he wants to have that, he's entitled to it. <laughs> For a dark night, if he wants some light. <laughs> so they're gonna stay with that, and we're gonna change. So that means six months of the year, they'll be in a different time zone, in two years time. Fucking hell, Northern Ireland. That's the border of the European Union. That would be Northern Ireland would be an hour behind. Which in fairness is an improvement, isn't it? Like, <laughs> But all those people flying over and back on Ryanair, you know what I mean? And the Roscommon bus in the sky. <laughs> those flights, you know what I mean? From Dublin to Stansted and Dublin to uh, Knock to fucking... It's just, you know, and they'll be leaving and arriving at the same fucking time. Six o'clock in the morning. What a pain in the hoop that is. Some of them flights are only 55 minutes. Can you imagine the announcements in a couple of years? Last year, over 90% of our flights arrived. Uh, before they even fucking took off. Like. Uh, that's my time. Happy Christmas. Keep supporting live comedy. Keep it up. John Kaleri, everybody. Uh, that's it. Thanks a million for coming. After two years of solo shows, I think we've had the best weekend of gigs uh, this weekend. It's been fucking amazing. Uh, thanks for coming to it. The next one is on January 30th. 
Uh, tickets are on sale, uh, I think, now or on Monday.